I've been blowing up crap with giant lasers for 11 years now on YouTube, so you know I have nothing against owning death rays. That being said, I find it absolutely appalling the retina fryers that you can buy on eBay that are sold as eye safe by the sellers. In the United States, laser pointers are limited to 5 milliwatts of output power, and actually in most other countries it's just limited to 1. Now personally, I think 5 milliwatts is a great limit because 1 milliwatt laser pointers are ultra lame. Your blink reflex prevents you from getting any damage from a 5 milliwatt laser. Here's a laser pointer that I bought as 5 milliwatts off of eBay, and I'm going to test it here on this laser power meter. Yeah, that is way, way over the 5 milliwatt limit there. Look at that, 70 milliwatts. That's ridiculous. That's incredibly dangerous. Now let's try out this eBay green laser pointer. Now in my experience, these usually aren't as bad off as the violet ones, but still look at that, over 50 milliwatts. Here's my incredibly realistic model of a human eyeball. Now I know what you're thinking, I should have been an art major. This basic model of a human eyeball has a lens on the front, and then on the back has a simulated retina. Now in reality, this plastic here is much thicker than the human retina. So what happens when I shine one of these eBay laser pointers into my simulated eyeball? Well, it pokes right through it. Now in real life, that damage is permanent. It will never, ever heal. All of those little holes in the plastic there represent permanent blind spots that would never go away. Now you don't need state-of-the-art medical models to show that these things are dangerous. Yeah, a laser pointer should not be able to do that. The truth of the matter is that skin burns heal. Ow! But retinal burns do not. I got my first green laser pointer when I was just 12 years old. And of course I got hit in the eye with it. I was just a stupid kid. But it was only 5 milliwatts, so it didn't do any eye damage to me. Nowadays, it, it, it's crazy. You can go on eBay, and for like $5, you can get a retina fryer that's advertised as something safe. I can't imagine the amount of damage that's being done to kids' eyes. It makes me sick. Now again, I'm not calling for a ban on laser pointers. In fact, I think laser pointers are a great way to get kids interested in science. I'm just saying, for one, if you're a seller that's selling these strong lasers, and you willingly know this, you're a horrible person, and I hope you burn in hell. Two, if you're going to work with strong lasers, wear laser goggles. They'll, uh, they keep you safe, and uh, they prevent you from blowing your eyeballs out. And three, don't shine laser pointers in your eye. If you don't have a laser power meter, there's no way to tell its power, and there's a decent chance you could be holding it right in a fryer. So I guess that's about it for this rant. But please, stay safe, and happy lasing.